What's up guys, Shimon here back with a new video and if you guys didn't know I love playing video games especially like Fortnite, FPS games, Call of Duty, Apex Legends and this is why I decided to pre-order the PS4 back button attachment and I ordered it, pre-ordered it on Amazon because everywhere was pretty much sold out. I ordered this like a week ago and it literally just came today. It's Tuesday the 28th of January and I pre-ordered it last week so it's crazy but I know it's finally here. I'm super excited. Let's jump into the box and see what we get. Okay, here we go. Always cut away kids. Definitely not what I'm doing right now. Ugh, the box is super light as well. Okay, there we go. Oh, the box is so small. Like, whoa. I didn't expect it to be this small. Like, it literally fits in the palm of my hands. But this is the box. You have that PS4 Dual Shock. Back button attachment, blah blah. It's in French because we speak French in Canada as well. That's so cool. On the side, it just says DualShock 4 back button. On the back, it has all the instructions. It says we have two programmable back buttons. You can map up to 16 different functions. It comes with an OLED screen which displays the current button assignments. You have the screen buttons. And also a stereo headset jack because it will be plugged into the headset jack. So if you guys didn't know, I use a scuff controller. This is like my main controller. And I use this because it has these back buttons, right? And I use, it, it comes with four, but I just took out one and now I'm using three. This is my original PS4 controller. And the reason I don't use this anymore is because I needed the back buttons. But this is where this come in place. So instead of me spending $200 on a scuff controller right here I could just use the one that came with my PS4 and purchase this for like 40 30 dollars so that's pretty much what Sony doing right now I don't know why they choose to do it now when the PS5 is almost out but at least it's here so important read first okay notes for a successful setup it's telling us that we need to turn off our controller blah 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 Pretty simple. I think I could do this on my own. So this is the box it came in. Like nothing too serious. No crazy unboxing experience. You just get this, no cords, nothing. It's just this little small thing. And it's so small. Let's open it. And there we go. The buttons already feel really clicky. It feels like a mouse click. Yeah, it feels just like like a mouse it has that same feel that's the first thing I thought of I don't know why so this is it the OLED screen let's peel that off and let's attach it to our controller so typical DualShock 4 controller this also has like a to lever inside so you could angle it i heard it's kind of weird to angle but let's see if we could do it on the first try let's try to pull us in if i could do this anyone could do this okay there we go that was pretty easy and it just it looks like it was made for well obviously it's made for it but it looked like it came with it you know like this it just looks normal hmm it feels good I like it holy shit I actually like how it feels I like this no way all right let's try to turn it on or oh, probably need to turn on our controller obviously oh my god and there we go so we have that OLED screen it's kind of dull I don't know why or oh, you could actually press this button so right now this is mapped to X and this is mapped to O. So if we hold it down, we could just literally just change right from here. So you hold down once and you could map this to whatever you want. 
I would want my left one to be mapped to X, yes. And right one, if you want to change the right one, just go ahead and change it to like box or square. And if you want another profile, you double tap, you go to the second profile, and you could change that to whatever you want. So you could literally change it to any face button or triggers, which is limited with the scuff. With the scuff, you can't you can't map the back buttons to the triggers. It's also super easy to do it with this because you have this instead of using the magnet that comes with the scuff. But that's just not we're not doing a comparison video that would take too long. But I was just saying that if you want to mess around with stuff, you have to see the light blinking. Once that blinking. So you want to hold down, get it to start blinking, then you could switch between profiles, double tap, you switch between profiles, super easy. And the profile that I want to use is profile 1. If you want to change it, just touch like that, it's super easy, and you could map it to whatever button you want. So that was cool and all, now it's time for me to test it out to see if I actually like it in game. Okay guys, so I'm now in game, and as you can see, I have my back buttons. This is for X and this is for O. So I use one to jump, so I don't have to be pre like pressing this to jump, pressing like moving my hand to jump. I could just jump normally. The camera is at a weird angle, but oh my god, it's so good. kind of hard to show you and play at the same time sorry guys try my best Okay guys, I just finished playing with this. I was just basically cranking in Fortnite. I didn't want to play any other the games because they had to update and I was not trying to do that. But all I have to say is this is a must buy. Literally a no brainer. If you ever thought about buying a scuff, you don't need to buy it. If you want four puddles, then maybe you'd have to go to scuff route. But if you just need those two extra puddles, this is the by far the best one you could get for your PS4. It's made from Sony. It's a licensed product. It's so good. The buttons feel great. You have no problem putting in your microphone because you still have the microphone port right there as you can see I've played with a control freak as well if you want to use control freaks I'll have a link down below for you guys to buy one if you want to it just basically gives you better aim in my opinion and more control over the analog sticks but yeah overall the back buttons are amazing I'll leave links for them down below in the description. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I could answer them. Let's talk about like the comfort. Comfort wise, it feels good. It might take some time getting used to. I feel more comfortable hitting it with my ring finger. So I have my ring, ring finger on the back right here. That's where my hands place. So I feel good using my ring fingers to hit them. And they're not hard to press as well, which is great. You could also use your middle fingers if you choose to. You won't go wrong with that. It's perfectly placed on the controller, which is great. So yeah, 10 out of 10 from me. I love it. And I'm definitely going to keep it on my controller and start using this more. As always, guys, if you're new, drop a like and subscribe. Because YouTube just loves when you like the video. It tends to push my content out to more people the algorithm just loves it but yeah as always love peace and tweaks signing out